Hello, welcome back to the Cricket Nerds. Today, James and I back at it again. Another video on this amazing IPL that's starting to get quite close for some teams. Uh, we're at the race to the qualifying matches um, for the well, the playoff matches for the final and what have you. And yeah, it's getting quite exciting. We're at the back end, um, and there's only one currently, just one team who can't make it into the playoffs, and that's Mumbai Indians after today's loss um, for the Lucknow Super Giants against Sunrisers Hyderabad, um, which was crazy. Like first off, James, what are your thoughts on that game? Just very briefly, because it's it's mad what's happening this IPL, especially with Sunrisers who seem to have kicked it all off really. Yeah, I think Sunrisers have uh, the way they've batted has been so unbelievable. Like in terms of entertainment and just it's been unbelievably impressive as well how it's just worked. Like their ultra intense style, mm. um, and I think when you contrast that with Luck now, who traditionally have gone for a, a lot more of a an anchor approach. If you think of who they batted with, you know, Kale Rahul, Quinton de Kock both anchors, Marcus Stoinis, when he's batting up, he's a bit of an anchor. Um, you've also got like Dev Dutt Padikal and uh, Kyle Mayers, both of them kind of, they, they, they serve the same kind of role. So it is, a, it's like a battle of the, you know, the, the kind of ways around doing things and ultra intense seem to work this time. Yeah. Um, you know, old, old KL strike rates don't matter. Rahul yeah. uh, with his, 29 off 33 proving to be a smelly innings a match losing innings and when you contrast that with travis head who faced three fewer deliveries and scored 89 runs Mad. it was absolutely ridiculous i mean they were like 105 for no loss after the power play 167 yeah. they knocked it off within 58 deliveries yeah i think it's my favorite my favorite stupid. stat is something like um Travis Head's score was bigger than Kara Hall's strike rate, um, <laughs> which is mad. Um, That's amazing. Yeah. I didn't even but, notice that, but yeah, yeah, that is ridiculous. But I think when when you look at, like you said, the contrast between the intent and, and when you look at the, the sides who are in that top four currently, I mean, Kolkata Night Riders and Rajasthan Royals, we can comfortably say they've they've qualified. But you think about some of the innings we've seen, I think of Sun on Arene for Kolkata Knight Riders, Phil Salt, the Salt, the, the Salts, the starts, they've got those um, their team off to. And then Rajasthan Royals, we know how Joss Butler and Jaisal have played they've played cameos this tournament, which Sandri Sampson's been unreal, definitely deserved his place in the World Cup squad for India. Sunrisers Hyderabad we just talked about, Chennai Super Kings as well. These sides are the ones with the positive net run rate. And it's probably because the intent they've shown of their batting. Royal Challengers Bangalore, their net run rate was terrible, but the last few games that they've strung some wins together, their net run rate has climbed massively and it and it shows. And you look like you look at a team like Look now on Gujarat and their net run rates are poor because they haven't shown that same uh, intent with the batting. So it's it's definitely showing for these teams. Um but it is quite close in terms of who could qualify. Quite a lot of teams sit on on 12 points, who, aside from Kolkata Knight Riders and Rajasthan Royals, who do you think are looking like the other two teams who could join them? Do you think Lucknow Super Giants still have a chance? Or do you think that your beloved Punjab Kings or my RCB could sneak their way into it? What are your what are your thoughts on that? Um, I If I was a betting man, I would say the, the top four as it currently looks in the table with KKR, Rajasthan, Sunrisers and Chennai, Mm. Um, I'd say that looks pretty nailed on to me. I, I think that I'd be quite comfortable saying that's going to be uh, who, who makes it to the to the final four. Um, I think Delhi, the way they've uh, batted with Jake Fraser McGurk, and then yeah, you know, batting was their issue. They, they've got incredible spin bowling with Axar and Coldeep, and th that all they needed to do was put a big scores, get off to good starts. And they they had like a decent looking side. And I think dropping David Warner and, and getting Jake Fraser McGurk was a huge thing for them. Mm. And it worked and it, it, it has continued to work. So I think um, De Delhi have an outside look. 
Uh, look now, I have an outside look. RCB have an outside look. But I would say that other than them, and obviously it all hinges on the Punjab RCB game tomorrow as well. Yeah. Um, I don't think that Gujarat have got a shout. I, I mean, Mumbai obviously don't. Punjab, I don't think um, that they've got it in there. Um, I just, I, I wanted them to. And I would say they've been a touch unlucky with some of the results. Yeah. But you know, ultimately it comes down to wins and and they've just been inconsistent where it really matters. Yeah. Um, I, I think they just didn't quite have enough standout performances at the right yeah. time. Yeah. Like I think about Gujarat Titans the last two seasons, not this season, obviously, but the last two seasons, they got um, all the way to the final in both, both tournaments and they they won all the close games. Um, you think how many of their games could have gone e- either way and left them out of the of the playoffs? Whereas you look at Punjab Kings, the amount of close games they've lost recent history it is frustrating. I I know from uh, from your point of view that they've lost so many close games. You look at RCB as well; they had a one run loss to the Kolkata Knight Riders. If we'd won that game, it could be a different story in terms of pushing for qualification. Um, Obviously, Punjab and RCB have to win all the remainder of their games, but it will be a case of other team performances going their way as well. Um, so realistically, the only way Punjab and RCB can go through is if Sunrisers, Chennai, and um, not Chennai, Sunrisers, Kolkata Knight Riders, and Rajasthan Royals keep winning and Chennai Super Kings lose the majority of the rest of their games, um, which is unlikely. I think we need well whoever wins tomorrow out of rcb and punjab kings is still within a chance of winning it's just yeah. dependent on chennai losing um the rest of their games or or just winning one of them and that's that is quite unlikely um so yeah it is chennai just look good don't they um and benji is probably quite happy with how chennai are doing um Ch- chennai are a funny one actually because obviously i, I think patharan has gone home now with an yeah, injury, that's true, actually, um, and I think that's a massive loss for them. Mm-hmm. I, they, they they look fine. Um, I was naturally incredibly disappointed with Punjab's result against them in their last game, where Chennai yeah. won by twenty eight runs. Um, Ravi Jadeja pulled off a really really good knock. Um, I thought bowling very well Punjab well. bowled well for the majority of it, um, but. Not for all of it. I think we got some some tactical decisions pretty wrong. Yeah, Arshdeep Singh. I think he's almost burgled. I love the guy. I need to say that every time. He's one of my favourite cricketers. I think he's burgled a place into that India squad. Yeah, I, I just I don't think it works on 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 his current form and the performances that performances that he's putting in. He just doesn't seem to have that death bowling ability at the moment or that ability yeah. at the top of the order um, yeah. or the top of the innings. So yeah, I, I think it, it was, it's tactical decisions. Um, but if you look at that Chennai side, they, they have good players there that can do really good things. Simaji Singh, somebody that I can't remember if I've, I don't think I've ever heard of him and he came in and bowled incredibly well. Yeah. He I just, think he's, been part of their squad for a couple seasons now mm. um but yeah it, it's it puts the onus on the chennai scouts doesn't it really they do a good job yeah absolutely yeah but i think just um what chennai did this time and they i don't don't think they did it at home in their home fixture um was they used their impact sub well mm. um they didn't bring in like samir rizvi for absolutely no point yeah um and they they went with spin, which is their advantage. That's that's where they win games. And yeah. if you look at Mitchell Santner, Ravi Jadeja, Simajit Singh, they are all good spinners. And they had Moin Ali in there as well, who would have offered another bit of spin. So yeah, sure. you, you've got to stick with your strengths. And I think when Chennai are playing at home, if they just stick to their strengths they will they will make it into the finals um, or or at least into the playoffs they always sneak through don't they so the chance of them not sneaking through are quite slim um and and sunrisers just seem to be in such a strong position at the moment with their net run rate 
as well as Chennai as well, that any other team that might join them on 14 points, like Punjab Kings or RCB or even Gujarat Titans, the chance of them then progressing through on net run rate is quite slim. They need to have some, some yeah. massive upsets. Um, but yeah, it's all to look forward to. I mean, we've we've enjoyed watching this IPL. Even if our teams aren't making it into the playoffs, we're still we're still glued to eyes glued to the screen, looking at the ridiculous records that are being broken. Um, to chase 160 down in less than 10 overs today is again is great to watch. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've got to say that with with KKR Sunrisers, they are the two like box office teams this season. They've been yeah. so yeah. so entertaining, absolutely yeah. brilliant, and like, sort of hats off to their management, the coaches, and the the squad themselves that have just kind of gone with this brave style um, of just all guns blazing. Rajasthan. Yeah. A lot more steady. They're still like very fun to watch, but yeah. they just seem like a, a well, like a really complete yeah. squad. Mm. Um, and then Chennai just they're, they're just wily, the same they? thing since two thousand eight. Yeah. There's not been much change, and, and, and yeah. nobody copies them. But they just they do wily yeah. things like this, and they they get in every time. But yeah, let us know what you think. Let us know what your like sort of I don't know assessments are of each team. Um, who you think is going to get in, um, and just. Let us know your thoughts in general. We like the, the conversation in the comments. Thank you so much for all the continued support. Um, you can become a member and get some exclusive content and obviously really support the channel. Um, that link is in the description down below. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.